Welcome to my crazy cat tutorial. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the other butterfly and repeating birds. Um, this crazy cat uh, tutorial is similar in that you're just going to start off with sketching your cat in pencil, just half the face. And um, as you can see, you have to then put on a thick layer of paint, which at first I didn't put enough on, so I just added some more lavender paint. And I chose pink scrapbook paper because I wanted my cat to be sassy. And I added some glasses because now that I'm 45, I can barely read uh, a book or even use my phone without my reading glasses, so I wanted to add some fun glasses on my crazy Corona cat. So when you're doing this type of art, it's fun to add little details like glasses um, that have meaning to you. And of course, um, I've got three cats, so I really enjoy cats. Um, and I really like adding black outlines to stuff, just like Van Gogh uses a lot of black outlines. It gives it kind of a graphic look and a cartoonish feel, and I wanted it to have that feel. Um, another nice thing is by doing the whiskers and then folding the paper and smoothing, you get a really nice symmetrical whiskers. But sometimes there's not quite enough paint, but you can just go ahead and add some over the top on the other side, on the mirrored side. And then I want my cat to be a tabby cat, so kind of some tiger stripes. So I'm going in and adding some detail with black paint, some little triangles all around the face. And I really like how that looks. Um, and now I'm going to just add a little bit more paint to darken the other side. There's really no wrong way to do this. Um, you just have to make sure you pick an animal that is symmetrical. And most animals' faces, and most faces are symmetrical, so it's not too hard. Um, other animals I think would be fun to try would be a deer. Um, maybe a bear, a fox. There's so many different ones that would be really fun to try. So I encourage you to pick an animal that you would really like to do. If you don't want to do a cat, pick a different animal that interests you. Um, next you want to add some little details like some shading in the ears. Um, and that just gives it a little extra oomph. Um, again, don't be afraid to add a little bit more paint to the other side if you don't think it's dark enough. So many fun animals to pick from and so many fun details that you can add. I literally feel like I could probably do different animals all week. And then as a finishing touch, feel free to add a little bit of background. You don't need to, but if you would like, I wanted to put my cat in the garden because, well, I love to garden. So I have my cat peeking out behind the, the rhododendron or some sort of a rose bush. And I just think that's a fun and playful way to stage my cat. And then it's also nice to add a little bit of fantasy colors to the leaves, um, adding some red lines, and then also some black lines. And it's always fun when your paint gets a little bit too dry. I think I'm using some paint that I've had for over 10 years. So I guess quarantine's a great time to use up all those art supplies because, well, Michael's isn't open. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of nice using up all my supplies. So I want to do a purple flower, just one in the corner, just to kind of 
Give you something unique. It's always nice to have something that's only in one spot. And I think it needed a little bit of yellow in the center to make it pop. And I think that's looking pretty good. Uh, might add a little bit more detail on the leaves. And uh, adding that red helps give it a unique look. And of course, some more black lines so that the leaves go with the rest of the animal. The background and the foreground go together. And finally, I want to definitely add a little bit more yellow because yellow just gives stuff sparkle, just kind of like white does. So giving the little yellow uh, cheeks where the whiskers come out gives it a little extra oomph. And then I have to repaint the black dots and the whiskers over the top just to make sure that it stands out nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed this really quick and simple crazy cat art tutorial. And please post your paintings on my Facebook page if you uh, decide to try it. I would love to see it. Or you could just email me or send me a private message. All right. Until next time.